Government contractors interested in increasing their bid to award ratios can benefit wholeheartedly by adopting practices of some of the biggest advertisers in the world, pharmaceutical companies. When you see a pharmaceutical company's ad, most of the time they're on primetime television on major channels, they're very expensive. They run 30 or 40 seconds. They usually have one or, or two formats. And this, if you're a government contractor, you wanna um, relate this as to your advertisement, which is most of the time a capabilities summary, or you're writing a proposal, you're responding to a proposal solicitation. Most believe that more is more. As I always joke with clients, that's why you can tell when someone wrote their own press release, it's not done professionally. It's seven or 800 words, it goes on for pages of information. Okay, pharmaceutical companies get to the point and get out and they don't get into how and what and the details. Let me give an example. Pharmaceutical company format is typically one of two things. Either it's a case study. So Bob was sick. Bob got on XYZ drug. Bob feels better. He's got a great life. Or it's a testimonial format where Bob's in the commercial and Bob says, hey, I was sick. These things happened to me. My doctor put me on XYZ treatment and now I'm better and I have a, a happy life walking on the beach with a dog. In government contracting, your challenge is a little bit different. You're persuading a procurement officer or a government committee whose primary occupation has nothing to do with your specialty. They're not emotionally involved. It's not like MGM or Universal Pictures when they get your blood pressure up during a 30 second TV slot by showing you clips of the hottest latest new movie with music that gets your heartbeat uh, racing. You have to explain to that procurement officer or purchasing agent very quickly in one page. You know their customer, you can handle the job, you've done so in the past, and you can deliver on whatever's being requested and then stop. The same as pharmaceuticals. That will trump graphs and charts and, and elaborate proposals with a lot of information that the reader is not really concerned with and not really interested in. Nine out of 10 times.